Hello guys, this is Shubhadeep. Welcome to my channel. So, in this tutorial, we will talk about a very important topic. So, if client wants to know if he selects a date, like he is selecting May 17, 2015, he wants to know what is the total sales of the previous three days from the selected date. So, that means if I select in May 17th, I want to know May 14th, May 15th and May 16th total sales. Okay. So, if he wants to know this type of data, so how to get it? So, here you can see this is our data table and order so the, uh, table. So, and this is our total sales data. So, for that, here you can see so three days before selected date this is a dash calculation so what i am doing i am taking date at function last date of the table minus three means we are going to past and we want value as day that's why day that means from the date table whatever value i am selecting that is the last day okay that is the last day that means may 17 2015 is the last day from the last day i want to go three days before that's why i am taking minus three that's it okay so if i want to know total sales of these three days 14 15 then 16 how to know so for that here you can see i am i wrote this one so here you can see i am taking Table A, same one, previous one, I am taking in, in a variable. Then returning in a calculate function, total sales. So, after total sales, what I am doing? Let's see this. I am taking dates between function. Okay. Dates between function. So, from, from the dates between function, you can see what is the dates. Date means what is the table they want to know. So, I am taking date table. So date table date. I am taking this value date table. Then what is the start date? What is the start date? Start date is this one variable variable a. So I am taking the variable a start date. So what is the end date? So end date will be again the last date. The last date of date table date table date okay so what is happening here so this is a table i am calculating total sales and what is the uh, starting value a that means may 17th what is the end value last date so sorry what is the start date start date means three days before a start date means three days before a what is the a value value is 17th what is the before three days value may 14th that is a so from here it is starting from here this is the start date and end date means end date means last date again i am taking last date of date table that means again i am selecting what is the selected value that means may 14th to may 17th that is the taking Okay, May 14 to May 17. A is May 14 because we are going to three days before. Okay, that means A means May 14 and May 17 means last date of date table date. Okay, so if I run this, if I run this, so let me break this down. Okay, this is the value, but here is a problem. So, <clears throat> if you calculate it, it is calculating 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th data also. But we do not want to know, right? We want only 14th, 15th, and 16th date, data, not the 17th. For that, we have to do a small operation. Here you can see, this is the last date. Here, I have to do minus 1 what is happening here now 
from end date what is the end date now end dates end date is may 17th right so end date minus 1 that means may 16th so start date is may 14th 15th and 16th this is the total sales we want to know <laughs> okay so like this we have we have to calculate any date and three days sales before that we get five days ten days one year also we can calculate like this okay so i think this tutorial was helpful for you so if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel share it among your friends who are interested in power bi thank you guys thank you